Okay, man. So I'll kick off with Omega Water by Lone Wolves in Paradise. I believe this was released on the 29th of April on Wolf Sounds, spelled W double O L F, which I believe is their own kind of record label. It's approximately two minutes and 23 seconds long. The Lone Wolves in Paradise, I think, are a two-piece band from Antwerp in Belgium. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about them online. They do have a Bandcamp page. They do have a Facebook page. But other than that, I think they maybe have an Instagram as well. But I, I didn't actually check that out. And obviously they're on Spotify, which is where which is where I listened to this track. They have released a number of singles now, however. The most recent of which was released back on the 4th of March. That was The Mistaken Man. They described themselves as an underground rock band. And I think that's a pretty apt description, to be honest, going by this this track. It kind of felt like a lo-fi garage rock number. Um, I've described it as, you know, that doesn't feel as if there's a hell lot going on in the track. The instrumentation is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, and it kind of plays second fiddle to the vocals in the track, which feel a bit more prominent and pronounced. However, if you do listen carefully, you hear the odd sample being used here and there. There's this kind of odd swooshing sound, a wee bit of reverb, an echo on the vocals, I believe. I've described the lyrics themselves as being quite tongue-in-cheek. They're basically espousing the benefits of drinking plenty of water for your, for your body health in this kind of talk-singing fashion. The guy sings in a bit of a, an accent as well. Towards the end of the track, the vocalist sounds as if he's evoking the spirit of the idol song Danny Nadelko, uh, where he sings the, the W, the A, the T, the E, the R, which I kind of liked. And I imagine that's that must be a known nod to um, the idols. Um, I, I don't know if it necessarily works as a single, in my opinion. Um, I thought it was all right, but for me, it kind of felt a bit more like a filler track. Um, right. On a on an album, you know what I mean? I would, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it, it was okay. It was okay, I think. But it didn't really grab my attention that much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I really, really like it. I really like it. I think um, they're quite like, it's sort of post-punk kind of yeah. thing. It is quite punky, and um, they, like you said, there's not a lot about the band available online. But they have like listed their influences, which cover everything from like the Queens of the Stone Age to the Cure via like the Ramones and Joy Division. So I think you can hear all like all of those influences on the song. It's got this kind of driving punk bass line, and then like a thundering chorus with like these echoing vocals and there's there is a sort of queens of the stone age-esque like driving riff in there when it when it when the intensity kind of ramps up and um i think it's like the bass tone like in in that intro and verse that is particularly satisfying for me and um it's got a little bit of punk bite to it and that just hooks you in before the the chorus i think um it, there is there is something reminiscent of like idols or like Viagra boys, but I guess yeah, I, I would give you that. Yeah, I, I could see something like this being on the likes of a, a Viagra boys album, but as as I, as I said, as a kind of filler track, I don't know if it it's I don't know if it necessarily stands out as an obvious single for me. I mean, fair enough. I didn't. And did you did you pick out the? The part from Donkey Kong Country that I was talking about last time. No, I totally <laughs> forgot that. So, like, I think it's just before the second chorus. It just, it just, there's like a crooning guitar. Like, it's probably like a synth or like a stylized guitar tone that comes in just before that second chorus kicks in. And it's like, it's exactly like the Donkey Kong Country soundtrack. <laughs> and it's just, Every time it comes in, I love it. It just brings me back to like playing that fucking level when you're on the the mine carts. It's fucking impossible. But um, yeah, yeah, I, it's a good, it's a really good game and part a big part of my childhood. So when that came in, 
just every time just puts a smile on my face. So I guess that that's a big part of the reason I like it. But yeah, I just think it's 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 just a really fun song. It's pretty brief. You know, it's two and a half minutes, doesn't get boring, doesn't overstay its welcome. And I kind of wanted it to be longer actually. But um yeah, so I I think this is personally it's more than a filler for me. I would say. I totally forgot the like Andrew WK style like piano cards like in the last bit as well. Like there's so there's a lot of cool stuff on here. Like like Andrew WK just plays one chord like yeah. really fast, like on his piano. I don't think I initially picked up on that actually. Um it's just in the last the last the few chords, bars or something. Uh, right. Of course, it's just like that piano comes in. So it's just like these little bits here and there that come in that just kind of elevate the song for me. Yeah. So so uh with that in mind, I've given this a nine out of ten. I've given it a five. Okay. Yes, yeah. I think that's in keeping with my opinion on it. Right, in the I, middle I, I, of the road. It's not a bad track necessarily. Um just didn't quite didn't kick you in. No. It did me. I, I, they've got a bunch of singles and um, they're all quite different so I think a, a, an EP or a full album from them would be pretty interesting Is there any talk of them releasing a, a new album, album? I have absolutely no idea I haven't um, One of the guys presumably from the band sent me this on Facebook so I could, I could ask him I probably should have asked him <laughs> but, um, Did they not previously send us was it, is it the Woo or Woo? There's a single called Woo, isn't it? It's spelled W-U-H. Yeah, I think what it was is they sent, they had like three singles out at the time. Oh, right. They just okay. sent us like, hey, we're Lone Wolves in Paradise. We've got these songs. So I'm pretty sure The Mistaken Man was on. Was on I think that's, that's on one of our previous playlists, definitely. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, one one to watch maybe. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that was Omega Water by Lone Wolves and Paradise, which is a pretty cool band name. Yeah, it's a cool band name. Yeah. Water, gotta drink enough water. Gotta drink enough water. My body hell. Gotta drink enough water.